What are the symptoms of poor personal communication? Well, most of us think we're excellent communicators. Other, otherwise, we wouldn't say things like we do. But that's not the measure, our response, our thought. That's not the measure of effectiveness as a communicator. Everything we say is clear to us, and we wouldn't have said it that way. So when we look outward for clues of poor communication, here are the symptoms that often surface. Feeling that everyone agrees with or supports what we say, feel, or do most of the time. Lack of input or questions or feedback when we're leading a meeting and presenting our ideas. Few or no ideas that are contributed in meetings that we're leading. The inability to influence others to accept our ideas or change their viewpoint or behavior. Seeing little or no behavioral change in people that you're coaching or trying to get them to improve performance. Confusion about what people are supposed to be doing or what you're supposed to be doing. Lack of understanding the why behind assigned projects and goals. Thinking that what you do or say doesn't really change things in the long run. Nervousness or hesitancy about presenting new ideas to your boss or your client or your strategic partners. Ongoing conflict with peers or family members. Frequent rework. Constant reminders from you to others to take action, meet deadlines, send information. Frequent requests for more information about topics or issues that you think you already address sufficiently. Feelings of disconnection and discomfort in one-on-one -on -one and small group interactions. Or lack of positive feedback about your presentations or documents. Those are all symptoms of personal communication. But what about symptoms of poor communication in your whole organization or area of responsibility? Ask executives in their organizations if their organization communicates well, and chances are they'll give you a thumbs up. We do it well. But ask those lower in the ranks, and you may hear otherwise.